Hey guys, welcome back to Ben and Brewing. My name is Brian. For those of you that are not familiar with our channel, we do product reviews, tutorials, and we have a live chat feature on our website to help you through your Brewday 911s. Today's video is all about the Play-Doh keg sensor. We're going to do a full product review and talk about some of the other things the manufacturer recommends you can use it for. We're going to answer the question, is this really a product for you? The answer actually might surprise you. Check it out. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the Play-Doh keg. Real quick, though, before we get started, keep in mind, um, Play-Doh didn't send us this device. We spent our own money on it, so our opinions are our own. When you get the Play-Doh keg, it comes in a kind of a neat-looking box. There's an associated app that you download with it. Inside is the Play-Doh keg device itself. It's actually pretty lightweight, but very sturdy. Like, there's no flex in it whatsoever. Uh, keep in mind, our unit does have some scratches on it because we've used this for the past several months, putting it through its paces, and so we've really tested it. Um, on the underside, there are some... Uh, yellow pads, these are the actual weight sensors that it uses to weigh things. In the bottom of the box, we have the power cord, which is flat, uh, so you can put it under the lid of your kegerator or put it through the lid of whatever you're trying to measure. The power source itself actually connects magnetically, which is actually pretty cool. So um, it pops on and off, and it's actually very secure. There's a little bit of a groove, so it will not pull out mistakenly. Um, but that's really it as far as that goes. Considering the price of the Play-Doh, the fact that it doesn't come with a power source is, is a little disappointing. Um, I get that some people, a lot of people actually already have them, and so maybe they have too many, but still, for that much money, they should at least include a power source. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Play-Doh keg sensor because there's a lot of things the manufacturer says that it does besides weighing kegs. Keg sensor, keg leak detector, liquid leak detector, tap pour alert, low keg alert, CO2 tank sensor, keg filling sensor, tapless IO integration, Bitcoin miner, Frisbee cat toy. Okay, all kidding aside, what can it actually do? When using the Play-Doh as a keg sensor, you configure it on your Wi-Fi and then you just need to set your keg on top of it. You'll see the three lights on the front will flash as it senses the keg's weight. The first thing you need to do though is make sure you tear it first with an empty keg. And if you have kegs that are all slightly different weights, then this can throw off how much beer is really left in your keg. So the Play-Doh also has a liquid sensor underneath that will trip and notify you if it detects a pool of beer or water under the base. If it detects the liquid level of the keg continues to decrease over time without stopping, it will also alert you that the keg might be leaking. This is also helpful for the CO2 tanks. I thought the tap pour alert was a really cool feature as the app notifies you not only that someone's been pouring beer, but also how many ounces were poured. And when testing it out, it worked great. But once I put it in the real world in my kegerator, well, the amount reportedly poured varies wildly and the pour alerts became really annoying. I ended up turning off these features. I could see where the pour alert would be handy to notify you of unauthorized pours. But if that's your concern, just get a faucet lock for like 30 bucks and be done. Low keg alert is a great idea, but due to the varying keg weights, it was not super accurate. As far as using it for a CO2 tank sensor, honestly, it would just be cheaper to have a spare tank handy. I even tried using it as a keg filling sensor, since I tend to walk away and do other things while keg filling and then overfill and overflow the kegs. With this, at least I can multitask and still keep an eye on the app as the keg progresses filling. The Taplist I.O. integration is actually very, very cool. The setup is not super intuitive, but honestly, it's really not that difficult once you kind of figure out what's what. The free plan with Taplist.io allows Amazon Fire Stick integration and up to four taps tracked. So what are my final thoughts on the Play-Doh? Um, it's a very well built product. It is solid. It's waterproof. It's gonna last a very long time Unfortunately, I don't think this really is for everybody. It's certainly not something that we would really use um, As a keg sensor it has some issues in real-world environments as an example as a co2 sensor It's cheaper just to buy a spare co2 tank and have it filled in on hand versus spending $120 at the time of this filming for a sensor that will tell you you're out or low and then you still have to go to the store and get more CO2. Um, so for us, the sensor just doesn't really make sense. We've used it when we're filling kegs, we've used it in the kegerator, we've used it as a pour sensor. Every time we move our kegerator around, we get alerts that someone's pouring a beer. 
well, no, we're just moving our kegerator. That's just how it works. As great of a product as it is, as well as it is built, the price of entry to it just doesn't make it worth it for us. So it's not really a product that we can recommend. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our Play-Doh keg review tutorial. If this video brought you some value, please hit that like and subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. Also check out our links above for other videos and tutorials that we've done as well. Until next time, my friends, we'll see you around.